not with Damelin anymore. I am with. I know you want me, baby. Then I told you when you're lonely. Yeah, you see, you think you know me, but you don't even know nothing about me. Yeah. You see my thick thighs, plus when you look into my brown eyes, you see my little bit of switch What is up, honey? I'm Zayga like Honest, and I'm back with another lit video. So, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a teddy savvy, Hello, honey. Welcome back into the honey family. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with everyone that you love and hate. So, guys, as you can see, my hair is all messy and stuff. Yeah. So, I am going to do, I'm filming a, this is a um, live update video. And we'll be doing my hair along with that. So... There's a lot to talk about, hey? There's a lot to talk about um, this week because today I think it is the 29th, 28th. Today is the 28th of March. And guys, I tell you that news have been moving around. You guys are probably like, honest, what is happening? Are you okay? Mm, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm, I'm here to clear out those questions that you guys have, but you're not commenting down, but you know what I mean. So anyways, we'll be doing my hair. Let me say this before we even get into the video. So tomorrow, it's Friday. Tomorrow is Good Friday, you know. It's Easter, and as it is Easter, I'm going to church, so I need to fix my hair. Because, yeah, I need to fix my hair. Listen to that. Mm -mm, I need to fix my hair. So, yeah, I need to fix this. This, you see? I need to fix it and prepare for tomorrow. I want to do a nice hairstyle, but I forgot how I want to do it. <laughs> I forgot how I want to do it, but we're gonna find a way. Let me show you guys my products before we got we get into it. So I have this essence mousse um design foaming design mousse i have my essence hair food and then i have this um soft and free um what do you call this spray hair spray i have this essence hair grower um jamaican black castor oil and i have my many combs for my natural hair right so um I'm I'm going to have a hairstyle. I think I do have an inspo but I want to bring it on the screen because I don't think I'll find it. But yeah guys, I'm about to do that. We are preparing for Easter. Okay, so let me get into the video, right? So oh look at that. Okay, so guys, let me start with school. No, let me start off how I have been. So I have been okay, guys. I'm good. I am sorted. Nothing is going on with me. But yeah, I am still alive, guys. And what is happening is that there is um, those who have been on my channel know that I have been a student going to Actually, I was a student who was attending at Damelin. And I am sure by this time... Let me, okay, so I have this... I, I was saying that I am sure that by this time you have heard Damelin is having some scandals. Damelin is now deregistered, right? And those who know, I was doing electrical engineering at Damelin. Right? So what happened is while I was a student day, right? Former students, first year, I mean second year students and other students right there were telling us, me and my friends from Damelin, that we should get our things 
and run. Why? Because Damilin was owing the government some, um, those who have seen the news, they know that Damilin was owing or is owing um, the government some papers and stuff like that. And another thing is that Damilin was not paying the rent of where its uh, campus was at, at PTA. And one of the students also said, I'm not going to disclose any names, I don't even remember her name. So if you're watching my channel, but I remember your name. But she said that um, there is a campus, I think the Centurion campus, its electricity was cut off because they didn't pay rent. Yeah, sure. Right. And we're like, no, Centurion campus is still chill. That's when now my tiktok started blowing up trust me when i say blowing up so every time i would scroll on tiktok it would happen that damelin is out there people are like damelin is not a good constitution you will land there oh my god the spray is not working oh, there it is. so they used to say that you go there and the qualification is not working and the qualification that you will have will be null and void okay I was like, what? Now I started doing my research now. Those who know, they know that every time you go on Google, right, and search on a place or a restaurant or whatever, you get reviews, right? Shop. I went on and searched Damelin Pretoria Campus. The things that were said right there. The people were like, we're still waiting for our refunds. We are still waiting for our refunds. Damelin owes us. Damelin does. Damelin that. And I was like, no. Nah, we are still cool. Maybe they paid them. Those are old reviews, right? And the oh, the Damelin that they were actually crying about was the correspondence. I think the correspondence is where metric um, um, rewrites are done. Bye. I was like, nah, it's correspondence, you know, like, let's just let it be, you know? And I might, you know, when you love something, when you love someone and then you might all the red flags, that's what this girl did. I might everything. Right. After that, it happened that I asked one of the former students right there. She said that she is she she was part of the rcl of damelin and i was asking her i was like hello hi right so this girl as i as i asked her dude i hear that this institution is about to be you i just and she's like no i know people that um that are working who went to damelin i was like okay that's cool anyways there were people who were in when you get to Pretoria Campus Damelin. The students that are there, the people who are there to assist you were actually and are actually still students of Damelin. Damelin hires its own students. I was like, no, okay, there's an advantage. Damelin hires its own students. Okay, fine. As Damelin was about to hire its own students, I was like, okay, I, I'm still good. Mind you, I'm still minimizing the bad in this whole um situation i'm going to hurt myself you know? right? i'm i'm missing the whole situation i was like okay continue continued for weeks and weeks and every time i i was going to school on a daily basis for those who didn't know it at school like on a daily you know what i mean okay so now there were students there there were always students guys who were always going to the exam office right because they said i was going to start my classes in april for now i'm just getting a hold of things so those students would come there and they'll be like you guys are here are you new students i would be like yes we are new students with a smile because we're excited we are in college and stuff and they're like did you hear and they start spilling the tea so what happened is that in december last year 2023 while they were writing the final exams, right? The Damelin straight, the 
one that has diplomats, not correspondents. There was a strike, an EFF strike at Damelin. Why? Because Damelin was not paying its lecturers. Basically, most of the students didn't have lecturers, so they had to do what? Do it online. And when you attend those classes online, the lecturers are that day. I know one from one of them was from Durban. One of them was from Bram. From Bram, my dear, I'm in PTA. Sharp. And sometimes when we were in the lab, when we we're in the computer lab at Damien, there was a um this other um, lecturer there. You know, he would come and also like be teaching students and speak good about Damien in front in those to those students who are attending online. The moment he would switch it off, he would start complaining. Mind you, he's a lecturer. He's not from South Africa. We're like, no, it's because he's from South Africa. That's why they're not paying me. Maybe he doesn't have his papers. We're like, okay, cool. Let's mise that. Let's mise that. Cool. Fine. And then this lecture, there was a day I was out. And then when I got in, he was talking to one of my friends. And hey, friend. And then he was saying that, guys, go to UNITA, go to university. Damelin is taking a whole lot of your money. And it's not even paying the, they, they're not paying the rent. They're not paying the lectures. They're not paying anything. And we were like, Damelin, what is happening? Right. But we did what? We stayed. Until. So there was a time, most of the time, right, guys? When I go to school, when I went to school, every morning I would go to my mom's office just to sit there because we would get to town earlier because most of the time Damien opens at 8, at 8 in the morning, right? So I would go to my mom's office and chill there until a certain time and then walk to school, right? And then what happened is... Okay, so what happened is now we continued and then there's this other day my mom was like, why don't you check your NSS status, right? Why don't you check your NSS status? I'm like, ah, it's fine. Let me just check it. I didn't want to. And then I checked the status and it was like, application approved and then eligible. I'm like funding for me. I'm like so happy and excited and all that. And then when I check my status for Anita, also accepted. After I went to the meeting for that long. Okay, man, 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 yeah. So now, um, now turns out that me and my mom, we asked one of her friends that. That person should cover us to Vinisa. Went to Vinisa and then wanted to um, accept the offer, the Unisa offer. So now, when we wanted to accept the Unisa offer, we were unable to, I didn't understand the process. Even the guys, those, those, the guys that were helping me, they didn't understand what I wanted. But, anyways, fine. We went home. When we, I, I went back to school, my mom went back to work. Fine. And then I just tried on my own to accept the offer you know you need a certain steps to accept an offer it's not that easy you need to write a mock test or a mock test you know to just orientate you throughout the online learning right as every university every institution should have orientation and by the way damilin i did orientation alone i was just shown this is our campus this is the flow five flow five is this and there is the flow six is this and this and flow seven is this and that okay after that hmm, what else? after that now i went back to damilin i told i was accepted at Lisa. i tried right on my own to accept the offer and after a few days, I was like, I told, I even told my friends like, oh my god, I got, I got accepted to Jumisa, but I don't think I won't go. I will go because here at Demet, and I was looking at advantages and disadvantages of things. I was like, if I stay at Demelin, right? If I stay at Demelin, I'm going to do my practical work. Right? No, my theory work for one month. One month. A, a one year 
eight months and then after that I do my training then I'm able to get a job but with Denisa I have to do the high school and do the three years of a degree and then that's when I'm gonna look for a job and as we are all told that as we are all told that uh, but again, universities only do the theory they don't do the practicals my G bye so now I ended up was like you know what I'm just gonna let Melissa's offer go because I don't even know how to accept the offer so a few days I was just chilling at home and then I was thinking my options through I was thinking about what those students were saying I was thinking what about what people were saying on TikTok and stuff mind you things that I said on TikTok not everything you should take like because we should always be cautious of whatever that we are told especially when it comes to institutions before you even go to an institution do your research know what is happening there before you even enter you know what i mean because only god knows what might happen fine guys so continuing with my story one day i was sitting at home and then i was just thinking my thoughts out chilling with my mom i was like no man let me try to accept this offer again maybe now i will be able to right my mom was like yeah check it out maybe you are now able to accept the offer check that out and then i was using my phone then i was able guys to accept the offer after long hours and long hours then i was temporarily registered what are these messages entering on my phone and i hate it when i'm filming and the messages entering okay so I was finally able to uh, accept the offer and now all I had to do was to go to Unisa. What are we going to do for Unisa? Go and find out how huh? this was it like. Okay, fine. So I accept the offer and waited for a few weeks and then I wanted to see whether Nesfat is going to find or not. So what happened is that what happened is that um, I went to Unisa. When I got to Unisa, I was like, um, I want to know is Nepsis visible on your system? Is it gonna fund me? I want to know what's happening because I've been accepted to be funded by Nepsis, and they're like, right now it's not visible. Wait until maybe end of March, end of April, May, somewhere there. I was like, no problemo, I will wait. No problemo, I will wait. Okay, fine. Then it happens that we looked for money to pay the registration fees because they said I should just uh, pay the registration fee and then NSFAS will be fine. Fine, we looked for the registration fee, we paid, and now I'm a student. Before, wait, before I could even be a student, I'm jumping a lot of steps that happened. So I was then able, right, to accept the offer and wait it. While I was waiting, I received an email, right? An email. And then the people who send the email is NS, is not, not NS, it's family. Family, okay. I opened the email and then there was an attached document. Attached document says, the Million Picture Campus is moving to a uh, main lane campus with immediate effect, which means if you go to the Million Picture Campus right now and you want to be a student there and go and survey, it's closed. And then you why are you closing with immediate effect? They were like, by Monday, the 4th of March, you guys should be that side. I texted my friends, I called my friends. I was like, friends, did you see? And then they were like, no. Apparently, I was the first one or the only one who got the email about this news. Okay, cool. So as I was the one that got the email, I sent it to my friends. And then we're like, okay, cool, we'll meet at Menlin. In my brain, I thought the lane would that they made because it was if they say it is, it is at Lane Mood, but they call it Men Lane Campus, right? 
the lane mood that I thought about, I thought it was the lane mood between, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I thought it was the lane mood between the Grove and Manley. You see that whole part? I thought it was there. Okay. Monday, comes Monday, I go now. I take a taxi. I'm like, I turn on the GPS. I was like, maybe on the way I will see then I will just ask to get off the taxi and go i am the taxi take me through okay and then now funny enough you can you the taxi is not going according to the directions on the thingy and i can't just get off anyway i just had to go to main lane with it i went to main lane with the text got to main lane i was like you know what let me wait for my friends to get to school because i don't want to get there don't know where i'm going and i got to main lane i bought myself a snack because why not order the uber the uber when it here guys if i tell you the route you have to pass a whole bridge and a whole and four guys you'll be like honest you're not being real it is on the other side you pass main lane go towards that other direction like you're going to i don't know brooklyn somewhere there guys guys Okay, fine, right? I'll get to school. They were holding a meeting with us from the Pretoria campus. If I tell you that I think one of the people who worked at the is part of the politics, you know how politicians are like, right? Fine. I know my camera is looking a bit ashy, but guys, you know? Okay, so we get there i get there and then i see my friends i was like okay everyone is here everyone that i knew was there right okay we get there now they are holding a meeting and they hate they are having the meeting okay there was this other guy who came in and then he was like welcome and stuff you know that welcome welcome this is what we're talking about soon enough he said to us soon enough all the campuses that are around that are around he didn't say PTA or Twane or the whole of Kauteng, I'm not sure. All of them will move to that campus, main lane campus. And if I tell you guys that the main lane campus is, um, it's two floors. Like, it's two floors, like literally one, two floors. I was like, hey guys, let's work with it. Let's work with it. What can you say? And then that guy continued saying. He said, um, he asked, right? He was like, who are the people who live around the sites of Pretoria North, you know, Sosha and all those places, right? Those who lose their hands, they lose their hands. And then this is what he continued to say. I am going to we as Demele and we are going to look at least for 5,000 for you guys to get transport. 5,000 to get what? Transport. Fine. Hi man, the excitement was high. I was like, okay, these people are going to take off us at least. I okay. Uh, after all that, now it turns out that um, they said we should, they, okay, they are like, now, one thing about mainland campus it has face-to-face -face classes which is what all of us will be looking forward to here that there are face-to-face -face classes not to just go there and be on the computer the face-to-face -face classes oh man the excitement was high bye and then now they're like the problem is is that right now we don't have enough lecturers yeah for every learner who's doing whatever because that they are doing for them to get a student to get a online class they all have to be fully registered not to pay just the the the, the registration fee but also pay the deposit they have to pay the deposit for them to be called fully students of the million that was good because i paid the three point something and the 1.1 for registration okay and then now they are like for you to check you have to go check if this other office if you are enrolled properly or not and stuff like that i knew that i was enrolled it was done it was a done deal. okay fine 
and then now we had to do our own orientation the people who 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 welcomed, who welcomed us they didn't even help us do an orientation they didn't even introduce us to the school they just let us just to be birds to fly on our own anyways we got to understand the campus because anyways it was just close now it turns out that and before we even went to Millennium Campus, we called our student advisors, the people who helped us with the application at the Millennium. They were like, they were, they were dismissed immediately. With immediate effect, they were also dismissed. I was like, Millennium, what on earth are you doing to people? Okay, I saw some of the people who worked at the previous Millennium. Those people were there and they seemed like now they are working that side. Okay, fine. And then now, it turns out that I went back home. My dream, me and my friends, for us to even get a, for us to get a class or a lab, for us to be open, we had to go look for people that we didn't even know, ask questions. Like, we were just clueless people in there. And this part, this family is far away from stores like it is just a whole lot of things at once you know what i mean and from there on i was just like you know what i told my mom i was like uh uh we are going to insa here we're not gonna stay at them again. we are going to insa because at Unisa, i'm just gonna enter i'm just gonna go to school with government money even though it takes time to get in i'm just gonna go to Unisa. It's the safest option I had at that time, you know? Fine. And then we went, me and my friends, I, I'm sure you guys saw in the previous vlog, vlog when I was wearing those glasses. We went to look for food. The food is far away from us. And it's expensive. It's expensive to go to school. The food is expensive to get. Unlike back at Pretoria campus where we had the ability to... We had the ability to just go outside and we'd find somewhere to eat nearby and it was cheaper. There it was expensive, it was in the suburbs, it was just not giving, right? Okay, we even met new people when we got there. Got home, I was like, ma, if I tell you that I used 120 rands to come back home. Number one, I used 25 rands to go away, to go to mainly use 35 rands to get an uber to go from Menlin to damelin i used 35 rands again to go from damelin to Menlin. how much is this this is 70 rands plus 25 and then another 25 rands from Menlin to where to now mafias this is 50 rands so 50 plus 70 that's 120 Fine. Mind you, taxis from Menlin, they don't come to where I live. They they go to the other side of the mafia. They don't come to where I have to walk home and walking is like a 20 minute walk. Fine. And then what happened is now I was sitting, right? I think I went to Damedin for I think I went a Monday and a Tuesday at Damedin. Because I went on the first day and then it was not giving and then we said we'll see each other the next day and stuff. And then I didn't go anymore. And then I fixed my things with Unisa. That's when I went to Unisa to check how NS Pass is like and when. Now I went to Unisa, paid the money. After paying the money, I did my student card. I'll show you guys my student card. I did that and I did my student card and then came back home. A few days later, uh, and I think it was like two days later, I was called to come and get my card material. I didn't want them to deliver it. I just wanted to just go there. Went there and um went to fetch my study material came back home and started working on it if i tell you that i was behind guys this messes me up so much i was behind with seven weeks being at damage 
okay fine and then i told my friends that i will be coming to them and then to do a gesture not to stay not to you know i was going there to do a gesture fine the week after which is was which was the next monday which is the day where i was wearing in the last vlog i was wearing i think it was an orange t-shirt right that day i was going to danielin and i was going to do just sharp i went to danielin to do a just okay guys i'm trying to do a hairstyle okay <laughs> then come at me okay so i went there i do it just said my goodbyes to my friends they were all said i'm still sad you know and then after all that now i am a student enrolled at unisa i'm not with damelin anymore i am with unisa okay so now that i'm at unisa comes the news that everyone has been hearing right now this week whereby damelin is getting the registered Damelin is going down. Damelin is owing this and that to the government. Damelin this, Damelin that. I need you guys. And then what happens now is that I am safe, but I am feeling horrible for my friends. I am feeling horrible for my friends because one of my friends was um was like me yes last year she was upgrading one is maybe from high school others are older and yeah all of that everyone is going through whatever they're going through and now Jamilin is coming with this now you know what i mean despite everything with my friends and me feeling bad for them i feel like god has saved me I want to say properly and tell you why I'm saying what I'm saying. Not that God has not done anything for my friends, but for me, putting things on a personal perspective, this is what I'm about to say. We need to zip it and put this away. So, this is what I'm going to say to you guys, and I need you guys to be like, to be attentive, right? To my statement right now. What happened is that, let me get my notebook. I, I think this is where I wrote it. Is it? I think this is where I wrote whatever I want to say to you guys. Because there is a lot, guys. There is a lot, and not everyone will understand what happens in life right i can't find what i wrote where is it oh did i just write it on my notes and my phone i'm not sure if i did i'll just put it on the screen and if i didn't i didn't it's here these are the prayer points that i wrote i wrote them last year i think it was november december praying for 2024 so what my words are for you guys as my subscribers you guys who are in high school you it doesn't matter the grade if you are in high school in tertiary level if you are even older than me way way older than me you have higher qualifications than me and you are watching my channel this is one thing i can say to you guys when you know the position that you are with you are in with god he will surely do as he says he will do when the bible says god's time is the greatest time if god says if the bible says that um i have assigned whatever that is good what is about to prosper you and not to a, a, a put you down whatever whatever that is about to bring good into your life god means those words you know what i mean because what i wrote right i wrote this i'm just gonna read the one that is 
put in the container of my story in this video i said that i pray that next year i go to uni and do a course that you god have assigned for me this is what i prayed for that you god have assigned for me i in high school had i had a whole perspective of my life after me trip. i had a perspective of i am going to school and i'm going to learn medicine and when i got out of high school my marks were not enough for mbchb i upgraded my marks and it seems like i didn't even upgrade my marks i was at my lowest and i thought like you know what this is not gonna work for me you know what i mean i was like maybe i'm not even assigned to go to school as yet like i thought like my life is just at a zero zero i didn't go to school last year i was not in any way as for this is what led me to this prayer fine since this year this year i had to open my brain i had to open my mind i was like you know what at this point in time i was up for it i was up for engineering i was up for any high certificate that i was going to be accepted at <laughs> if i tell you that most of the courses that i applied for <clears throat> most of the courses that i applied for were high school kids and diplomas no bachelor's degrees if there if there are there were two or three but most of them were diplomas and high school kids i was like i always i even wrote in my daily motivation it's on my wall that good things the greatest things take time i was like if it means for me to finish being in school after five years so be it if god wants that for me so be it fine and then comes this year you need uni university well like girl we're not taking you this year we're not taking you your marks still don't do it i was out of hope i even applied at the at the um Tswane south university tibet i mean sorry Tswane south college ne like they we even went there with my mom when we got there child if i tell you that they, i applied and i even got a student no when you apply you are given a certain student number even a student number what i applied for and then when we got there they're like you're not in the system it seems like you didn't even apply but we have proof i was not even alone there were people there also with the same issue as mine we're not there i was like you know what ma let's just get out of here maybe this year i'm not supposed to go to school either shut mind you i was losing hope fine and then now we proceeded and then while me and my mom were walking on the side we were like damn it and damn it everything with damn it went good and mind you in the previous vlogs i was with, I was with my cousin we went to denver she was also looking for a college a uni college whatever that we could find and you just desperate times calls for desperate measures because now when you are a child right and you are known by many people right and those people want you to inspire their children as well they you need to be at, a, at some point educated or or have something to show right i had to silence the noise back at home in the book where they were asking what am i doing at church what are you doing i know about my pastor he's a pastor who values education very much like you need to go to school do something find something even though it's a high school kid as long as you're at school my dear find something to show let school be your backup you know what i mean he's that kind of a pastor and i acknowledge my pastor for doing that i went to the salon a lot at the noise denver said we need to start at n2 when i look at n2 n2 is a great great tag and to is grade 10 i'm like why am i supposed to start at grade 10 like dude i did grade 10 went to the middle the middle was like your max are good enough for you to do what a diploma and and six you have to start at in four i was like it's better i better start i was happy and excited remember when i even came to you guys i was excited that fine now i'm a genie uh, at college blah 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 
And then I was even talking to one of the ladies of church, she's a pastor as well. And then she was like, it's a good thing that you found a school, I'm happy for you. She even, you know, she was happy for me. You know, I was like, God has finally answered my prayer, I'm finally at school. But if I tell you that you as a person, you need to pass by many stages, for you to get at a certain stage if you're not there yet god will not just let you be in that level you know if i tell you that i see it as a sign that i didn't go to denver if i see you that it's a sign from god that i took time to accept a Jesus and Lisa took time for declining my offer if i tell you that i see it as a sign that damelin moved from victoria campus if I tell you that it's a sign from God that now Damilin is direct just this. If someone comes to me and tells me that your God doesn't exist, I'll truly tell you that you are a fool. Because how is it that I felt that God assigned me to engineering, but God actually has been hearing my prayers all this while? Those who know me, I don't say go to my Facebook. But those who know me, they know that I was HMD, honest the medical doctor. Guys, I was like, whatever that you manifest, God is listening. Whatever that you say, God is listening. Now, enrolled at Unisa. Unisa is a very much of a safe space. It's very just it's Above all, Unisa is a South African university. It's the University of South Africa. It has the name of the country in which I live in. That's how safe it is. If I tell you that I would have been draining and drowning right now knowing that I'm a, I'm a student at Damelin, I'm registered, I can't even get out at this moment. My course wouldn't be even credited if for anything. I would have just been a person who's falling down into nothing. Yo, God has listened to me. Right now, I am doing a higher certificate in life and environmental science. And after this, you guys will see what is going to happen. But what I can say is that keep on praying. Keep on manifesting what is good into your life. Because the moment that you sit and you're like, God is not listening anyways. So where is this God? God is working behind the scenes. I, like... The moment I heard that Damelin was deregistered, I was feeling bad for my friends. I was like, my friends are now going to be dragged down with Damelin as hard as it is. But now, putting it in my personal perspective. So yeah, guys. <laughs> I ran away from one of the craziest things. In this life and I just want to say thank you to God for helping me do them because it was a lot of whole lot a whole lot of disaster going on so keep meditating what is of positive in your life Compared to what is of negative. And see God's works in your life. So. Yeah I guess. Keep on. Praying. Do good. Help those who need help. You will see God's manifestation. In your lives. I, from the day I heard the news about Demelin, I sang a song that says, Ngege asitele ushala nati ujo gube parat. Ngiyamazu nshengi wami agalali agawoze. Ngege anite ushala nami ujo gube na parat. So, Whenever you sing a song, it manifests itself in your life. So I have rubber bands, my guys. These are rubber bands. 
those little ones. Keep praying. Greater things are coming. Keep praying. God is still alive. Okay, guys? God is still alive. Keep praying. God still hears. He is still here as well. Keep praying. One thing I can say to you guys is that keep praying. Keep on praying. Okay? So, yeah, guys. That is my story time. Story time of a lifetime. Trust me, it was good at Damilin. It was fun at Damilin. I met I met great people at Damilin. I met good friends and we are still friends at Damilin. And I really appreciate how good those people were and are still to me. And I pray for them that God may answer their prayers that they may find something good in their lives as well so that they just don't sink with the titanic i called them i called one of my friends two of my friends from domini yesterday and they're like we are sinking with the titanic my dear and i believe that god will see them through at this time because they need God more than ever right now if they believe in Badini they need the Badini right now so yeah guys my word of encouragement from everything that I've said is that guys please check the reviews when you are going to go into a college check the Check the students they do your research, go to TikTok, go to YouTube, find something to work with and have a reason why you should go there. Check if really there are people who continued at Damilin and they found something good to work with, okay guys? Because if they didn't find anything to work with, which means they are doomed, you get what I'm saying, okay guys? So that's my advice to you guys. Always stay awake. Don't sleep on yourselves. Make sure that you are alive. Okay, guys? Make sure that you are alive and well and happy. Protect your heart. Yes, you might think that people are saying bad things about an institution because they did something wrong, but do your research as well to confirm if both people are lying or not. Okay? So. Yeah, guys, that is the meaning. And my relationship with, but I don't think I can say the million didn't have access cards or what do you call this? Or student cards, right? And I want to, I want something to seem like it is. Wait, let me put this nicely. Oh, let me just. This is the part that I need to hide. Just do it like this. Yeah. So, I am not with Damelin anymore. I am with Elisa. <laughs> yeah, guys. I am not the, the student of that place anymore. I am... Wait, let me take this out. I am assigned here. And this is my student card with my IDS photo. So yeah, this is where we are standing right now with our lives, guys. So no more college vlogs. We will be doing mini vlogs. We will be doing mini vlogs, guys. And I hope you guys are waiting for those. But I'm not yet done with doing my hair right now. I wanna put relaxer on my hairline so that it is smooth, nice and smooth for me to do my just do it with my for that so that it is easier for me to do my urges tomorrow 
so yeah guys a lot has happened and i serve a living god i don't serve a god that sleeps he doesn't sleep in slumber and if you are my friend and you're from Dublin and you're watching this i have n i'm not trying to offend you guys in any way i am just saying that right now god has seen my cry and he helped me throughout my cry and he is going to do the same thing for you guys and if ever you are a student at one of the colleges that were within a call, I would love to just advise you to try and apply at the colleges for second trimester for universities for the second semester so that you at least go to school this year and close the gap and if not 2025 might be a year okay so yeah guys that's my word in a few minutes i'm just gonna wash my hairline and then we'll be done with my hair right now i just wanna mess it up i'm gonna base the lines it looks cleaner in person don't trust me when i say that it looks cleaner in person let me try and do this. I want to show you guys my setup because I'm looking at a mirror while I'm looking at you guys. And I think I should continue doing my videos like this. So, right now. Okay. So this is how it is right now. So, right. Let me get my charger. I have to charge my phone. It's 10%. So, this is my setup. Yeah. So yeah guys, that is the story of me and that college and we are done with it. No more having scares for crazy nest stuff. Now we are where God wants us to be. We are not, uh, we have not arrived. We are still going. The Israelites went with Moses to the promised land. I'm not yet at the promised land. Sisaya, we are still going. We are still going. We are still headed there. We are not yet there. I will tell you the year in which we are there at the promised land. And I hope I won't be like the Israelites and feel too blessed by God and forget that God is not done with me. So let's enter the gates of God with thanksgiving in our hearts. Whenever you wake up, thank God that you are awake. Whenever you go to sleep, thank God that you will safe during the day and you are going back to sleep. Okay, guys. Thank God for everything that is happening in your lives. But without Him, it won't be possible. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with our God. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with our God. And we will never settle for this. Cause we know there's more that's found in here. Yeah, we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you, and it's a new Lord. It's a new Lord. We know there's more that's found in you, and it will never, ever, it will never, never. Settle for less. We know that's more than finding me. I will never, 
You will never, never spill on for less. We know that's more than found in you. Bye, guys. So I'm going to wash my hair right now and then I'm wrapping up the video right here, right now. If you want to know how I did my hair, because I was just taking to do my own hair, I will do a separate video for it. But you will see the results on the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for listening. And I hope it got into your ears whatever I said here on this vlog. One thing I want to say is that trust in the Lord your God for he will never leave you nor forsake you. He has demanded, he has commanded you, sorry, he has commanded you to stay strong, stay courageous, never give up. You are the head not the tail you are above and not beneath whatever that god was had blessed father abraham he has blessed jacob he has blessed isaac i didn't put it nicely he has blessed abraham he has blessed his son isaac he blessed his grand he, the grandson of you know jacob he will bless you he will bless you Father Abraham's blessings are yours. As much as we're saying that Father Abraham is many sons, many sons of Father Abraham, and so are you. So the blessings are yours. Read the Bible, know the Bible, meditate upon his word. Let not your word, his word, come out, out of your mouth. Let it not depart from your lips, from your tongue. Because it should stay there and you should meditate daily upon it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on IG, TikTok at Honey from Earth, or it's spelled at Honey from Earth. And as always, stay sweet, wait, stay educated, okay? Stay as sweet as Honey. Because Honey from Earth loves you guys. See you on the next. What?